Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Stuart. I'm the co-founder of Utradia, a platform for investment ideas and insights. Today, we're going to be taking a look at OCGN, OcuGen. Uh, if you're familiar with this company, uh, it's been quite a, a roller coaster of a ride. We'll put it that way. Um, there's mixed thoughts on it, some great thoughts, some not so great thoughts. Uh, but today, I'm going to be looking at it from a slightly different angle. Uh, using our social sentiment dashboard. Uh, just to give you a quick rundown of our social sentiment dashboard, essentially it tracks the top trending tickers across StockTwits, Twitter, Reddit, uh, which is very useful for um, stocks, especially ones that have a fairly strong retail following. Um, we look for trends of social momentum, social sentiment, um, usually a great kind of proxy. It can be used as a leading indicator of uh, potential price moves. And what I'll do today is just jump into OCGN and take a look at how uh, some recent news and insights uh, might have caused the stock to, to jump a little bit. Uh, so this is both useful if you currently hold OCGN or if you're thinking of investing in OCGN and just want to kind of uh, keep tabs on it. Okay, so quick overview of this uh, dashboard. Uh, as I mentioned, track StockTwits, Reddit, Twitter. Um, I'm going to be looking at an interesting trend I saw on StockTwits in the last 24 hours. Uh, we can either look at posts, comments, likes, or impressions. Uh, impressions are how many people see a specific uh, tweet related to uh, OCGN. And I usually like to use it uh, to find uh, some interesting things uh, from a trending perspective. Uh, gives a good view of social momentum. So what's interesting is if we uh, go back to posts, uh, so kind of steady, we saw a, an increase of posting um, last night at around 7 uh, 8 p.m. Uh, if we jump over uh, to what we see, um, we see kind of a kind of mixed thoughts um, about what people are talking about for OCGN. Okay, very soon turnaround. Uh, Okay, talking about Covaxin, et cetera. You know, nothing really stands out that much. Kind of checked it out. Uh, what I wanted to show you guys is um, a significant jump I saw uh, this morning, kind of 7, 8 a.m. And this is why it was important. So if we click into this uh, actual bar, we can see uh, this release at OCGN, Ocugen to present at the 34th annual Roth conference. So for biotech companies, um, any type of news like this is very important. So if they're able to present at large conferences, obviously this drums up, um, you know, positive sentiment about the, the stock, the company, what their future holds, uh, and typically leads to uh, more investors uh, kind of filing in. Uh, and the reason I bring this up is uh, you'll see that this was released at 7 11 uh, a.m and then click over to uh, this other bar. So this one, Chartmill then um, tweeted it as well, 732, uh, and quite a few people uh, saw this tweet. So it's a great way to find uh, trending news. And again, because news typically impacts the, the price of a stock, uh, as we're all fairly aware, um, I'm just gonna jump over to show you what happened uh, from a market perspective. So if you remember, I jumped in on that tweet that came out uh, around 7 a.m. Uh, this morning. So if we look at the, the price of OCGN, uh, the, the market closed the previous day, was at about uh, $2.40 a share. The news comes out you know, in pre-market. Now what do we see first thing is a big green candle. So it jumps up from 240 to around uh, 260 at the highest drops off a little bit and then continues to climb. And I'd argue that most of this is based on uh, this news that you're seeing. So if we jump into the day um, a little bit more, um, there's still some positive uh, positive sentiment as well as tweets about uh, Ocugen. This is a, an interesting one to see. So revenue expected to grow by 1000% for the next five years. So again, if retail investors are seeing uh, news like this, uh, this tends to move the kind of the sentiment perception of, of the stock. And again, with a, a strong retail um, support that Ocugen has, uh, it's not surprising to see 
um, information be disseminated across stock twits or, or Twitter even, and we can jump over to Twitter to see um, what's happening. But you see this type of information uh, start to be disseminated. People see it, it's positive, they react to it, and that's why you're, you're seeing a, a bit of a pop uh, from a price perspective. So just wanted to, to show you that. Um, again, super easy tool to use. Uh, great to keep track if you're an OCGN uh, investor. Um, it allows you to see uh, what's trending uh, across Twitter, StockTwits, Reddit. Uh, useful platforms, you know, they have millions of followers. I should say hundreds of millions of users. Uh, so when something trends uh, on these platforms, uh, they can sometimes uh, take off. So check it out. I'll leave the link in the description below and happy investing.